Lazaro Barbosa de Souza is a Brazilian serial killer who murdered over seven people and fled, which led to a manhunt by a tax force of more than 200 police. Barbosa has a criminal record that stretches all the way back to 2007. Lazaro was arrested in Bahia in 2007 for the murder of two people. Ten days after his arrest, he escaped and moved to the federal district. Two years later, he was convicted of theft, sexual assault, and illegal possession of a firearm, and was arrested again in Brasilia and sent to prison. In 2013, Lazaro was diagnosed with serious mental issues. He was described as impulsive, anxious, and mentally unstable. After being temporarily allowed to leave prison in the Easter of 2016, he escaped again. Two years later, in 2018, he was recaptured, but he escaped again through a hole in the ceiling. On Wednesday, June 9, 2021, the 32-year-old attempted to rob a farm home was shot and stabbed 48-year-old Claudio Vidal and his two sons Gustavo and Carlos Vidal. Vidal's wife and the mother of the two others killed 43-year-old Cleonis Marquez saw Barbosa breaking into the home and called family members to seek help. Barbosa then kidnapped Marquez and shot her dead before dumping her body in a stream where the local police department found her. On the following day, June 10th, Barbosa broke into another house and kept the people there hostage for three hours. While there, he forced the owners to cook for him while he boasted about his previous crimes which was already getting media coverage. He forced them to smoke drugs and stole some money, a cell phone and a jacket before leaving the residence. The following day, Lazaro invaded a nearby farm, held the residents hostage and stole their car, which was abandoned and burned in the vicinity of Cocalzinho de Goyas. He would continue to repeat the same pattern of going into people's homes, holding them hostage and fleeing with their vehicles. He shot and injured some people in the process and at one point he engaged in a shootout with the police but managed to escape. Lazaro hid in the woods and was later found by rural patrollers who were participating in the search for him. After being spotted, he broke into a house where he held a married couple and their 16-year-old daughter hostage. At first, the girl hid under her bed and contacted the police for help before she was found by Lazaro and was taken to a nearby forest along with her parents. He fled after he saw the police helicopters hovering around the area. The family of three were rescued by the police. His accomplices that helped him escape successfully were arrested and they confessed to aiding him with food and shelter. It was revealed that Barbosa had created a fake Facebook profile that went by the name Patrick Sousa, probably to keep up with the news around him. The account was created from a stolen phone that he kept with him between 15th and 18th June. He continued running away and evading the police, but finally after a 20-day search, he was eventually found at his mother-in-law's house. He died during a shootout with the police after being surrounded and shooting back. He had more than 30 gunshot wounds.